of a home after. And the news begins right now. Now, the news with Steve McMurray and meteorologist Eric Gage. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Happy Tuesday. I am Steve McMurray. And I'm Storm Tracker 2, meteorologist Eric Gage. We got a lot to get to this morning, but what a wild day yesterday for you. You're sunburned, so you were out in the yes. uh, <laughs> doing eclipse coverage all day, and I guess the sun was out if you've got sunburned, but uh, great day all around. Yeah, and our, our director, Robin, was telling, uh, telling me too, it's like it's kind of ironic you get sunburned during an eclipse, and that, that, that's, that, that's what I was thinking too, as well. Eric Gage, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. <laughs> but, um, uh, the one thing I will say, and I know it's been surprisingly for me, at least from my perspective, very polarizing with the eclipse and whether it's it's very, uh, uh, the coverage it gets and everything, but I feel like when we got in totality, it was a surreal experience. Yeah. I, I can't explain the fact that the odds all came towards uh, uh, the moon lining up in front of the sun, the moon being the exact same size, just the perfect amount, yeah. and everything has to line up. And just I feel like yeah. all that put together, it was definitely a really surreal experience. And a look at some of these scenes we caught up there in Boonville. Those of you uh, we got to see up there uh, during the eclipse as well. Nice to meet you all. This was the scene. It felt almost like sunset. Although it was cloudy, we couldn't quite see the sun. It was, again, a very surreal experience. But take a look at this right here, sent in by Michael. Look at the traffic following the eclipse. You can see a surge of visitors in Boonville going on to Route 12 from all over uh, here in our local area. And temperatures this morning starting out in the 30s. But we rebound pretty quickly into the 40s, 50s, 60s, and eventually highs in the low 70s by this afternoon. So it's going to be a beautiful day. Enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy the very nice spring weather because following this, we're looking at more April showers that look to linger into the rest of the week and into the start of the weekend. We're going to talk about that and how warm it stays in that full forecast straight ahead. Steve? All right, Eric, thanks. And don't forget, the Storm Tracker 2 forecast is never more than 10 minutes away. Well, new this morning, Central New York and Northern New York played. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Welcome back. The time now is 513. And, uh, after a very busy day yesterday regarding traffic, especially up in the North Country, things are winding down now as a lot of tourists and visitors are uh, leaving central New York. But at least the good news is locally is a lot of the traffic ended up heading farther to the east, going up uh, north of Albany, where more of that sun uh, was expected. But you can see here a live look at the traffic flow from the Munson Traffic Tracker. We are looking at a lot more green, a few pockets of yellow here and there, but again, Route 12, Route 28 up in the North Country, uh, roads looking much better than yesterday evening. And with that, the drive times across the area looking pretty okay. 18, 20 minutes at Little Falls to Utica, Verona, Utica, same thing, uh, arterial 790 to 840. Then looking ahead to uh, 5S and Route 49, drive times looking pretty okay. And finally, in Otsego County, Route 28 from uh, Cooperstown to I-90 and back around a 34 to 36 minute drive time. And same thing for 790 to Remsen, looking at a 17 to 16 minute drive time. And for today, we're talking about sunshine. Temperatures starting out in the 30s, warming up though into the 70s by this afternoon with completely dry weather. No impacts expected for travel as you head to and from work today. Steve? All right, yeah, what a difference a day makes. All right, thanks a lot, Eric. Well, we may look back for years and remember. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good morning. Welcome back, everyone. Happy Tuesday. This today is going to be a nice one. And by nice, I'm talking sunshine and 70s. How's that for uh, April weather? A live look in Cooperstown right now. It's a bit on the cooler side to start your day today with temperatures in the 30s. We've got clear skies causing radiational cooling, which is uh, in turn causing those temperatures to free fall, but warming back up and again into the 50s, 60s, and eventually 70s by this afternoon under completely dry weather, temporary, but we'll enjoy the dry weather while it lasts for today. You can see here surging up into the upper 60s, low 70s, that warm front that brought the clouds yesterday 
is what's bringing the warm temperatures today. Wind speeds, not too bad. Calm winds from the uh, south so far today. And again, we're talking about sunshine pretty much throughout the entire day. A few pockets of clouds here and there, but nowhere near as cloudy as yesterday evening. Now, regarding rainfall, again, no rain is expected today. Rain moves in in some locations tonight that could bring a rumble of thunder or two, especially north of the Mohawk Valley. Then we're talking about likely chances for rain uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And regarding how widespread it is, well, Wednesday, a bit more on the scattered side. More of that rain will fall in the overnight hours with maybe a few spotty showers during the daytime. Better chance for daytime showers will be Thursday and Friday of this week. And those will linger into the start of the weekend. Those temperatures after today cool down a little bit with highs in the low to mid 60s. So at least by April standards, I would not really call this cool. But we do cool down in the 40s by Saturday, rebounding back into the 50s by Sunday. Bigger picture, warm front passes to the north. We got this pocket of dry air and uh, warmer temperatures. But following this, a trailing cold front will uh, push through central New York, then remain a little bit stationary, heading into early Wednesday morning. But following that, we got another surge of warm air from the south, bringing with it some rain showers and temperatures hovering again in the 60s. But today, look how fast those temperatures climb. By noontime in the low to mid-60s, and then by th uh, 2 to 3 p.m., we're up into the 70s. So again, enjoy the beautiful weather today. I know the, uh, the village outside the Odd, those of you that were waiting for the less windy, less unsettled weather, go out and enjoy that today because as we enter the rest of the week, things will turn a little bit more on the rainy side. Next 12 hours, near highs near 70 with partly sunny to partly cloudy skies by this afternoon. And then tonight, cooling down into the low 50s with rain showers developing. Seven-day forecast. You can see here April showers making their return and then lingering into the early part of Saturday and Sunday. Some higher elevations Saturday could see some uh, snow showers. We're not done with it just yet, but as we continue through April, it gets harder and harder for the atmosphere for, to produce uh, snow. So we are on that downward trend. And as long as we're not seeing any April 20 snowstorm like we saw two years ago, I think we're in the clear regarding snow. All right. <laughs> that's, that's good news on many fronts. Thanks a lot, Eric. Well, the time now is 523, still ahead. With Steve McMurray and meteorologist Eric Gage. And good Tuesday morning to you. Thank you for joining us this half hour. I'm Steve McMurray. And I'm Storm Tracker, too, meteorologist Eric Gage. Wild day yesterday in the Mohawk Valley. You had the eyes uh, of the world focused on here because of the eclipse, you know, several places in totality. Had probably the women's biggest women's hockey game of the year, uh, and it was only Monday. Oh, only Monday. So, he, so here in central New York, having the eyes of the world for hockey, for the eclipse, uh, sold out crowd too. That's pretty. Sh that's pretty. That's uh, wild. It was. It was four thousand people in it, the odd. Yeah, I did. So I didn't go into the odd. I was actually down at the Championship Village, and what an atmosphere! Just what? Uh, uh, just um, you know, obviously when the weather's nice, things are things are great. Yeah. We always talk about that, but. Fantastic atmosphere, and just a fantastic atmosphere yesterday too. You saw it in Boonville, Ben saw it in Old Forge uh, for the eclipse. Folks have been talking about it for months, and uh, and it was just pretty pretty cool. It so was, yeah, it was interesting too, talking to folks not only from our local area, but mm -hmm. Connecticut, from Alaska, from all over the, the the U.S. and possibly international. I didn't catch up people international, but yeah. just all over catching our local area. In fact, let's look at take a look at what the scene we saw up in Boonville. And it was a bit cloudy when the totality took place, but we could actually see the moon shadow over the uh, Boonville area through the clouds. And again, it was just a very surreal experience. And it, it caused a lot of traffic. Obviously, I mean, if you uh, caught the evening shows yesterday, you would have seen uh, a lot of the traffic along Route 28. Same thing along Route 12. It was a very busy uh, stretch of roads in the North Country. And here for now, regarding the, temp the conditions for today, 34, the temperature with clear skies. It's a cool start, but we're dry. And how about this for temperatures? Up into the upper 60s to low 70s with plenty of sunshine. That warm front that moved through yesterday is bringing in those warmer temperatures. Enjoy the warm weather. Enjoy the dry weather for today because following this, we're entering a bit of a rainy stretch heading into the second half of the work week. We'll talk about that in that full forecast straight ahead. Steve.
All right, Eric, thanks. And don't forget the Storm Tracker 2 forecast is never more than 10 minutes away. New this morning after. Welcome back. Time now is 544, and of course, we've been talking about the eclipse. I've really shared a photo from New York, at least in our local area, of the eclipse. And we actually were submitted a very clear photo from someone who uh, traveled up to Plattsburgh to get a shot of this. Take a look at this photo right here of the eclipse sent in by Tessa. Again, it's a surreal experience. It's, it's not until you're underneath the path totality when you just realize and you just the sheer luck the sheer uh, uncommonality of getting this event to happen here in a local area in our lifetime. A reminder, we're not seeing another total solar eclipse in central New York in this century. The next one only in New York State is in 2079, and that's down near New York City. But with the weather for today, following the eclipse, now that the event is over and done with, we're talking about temperatures in the 30s, a chilly start, but we're up into the 60s, eventually 70s by this afternoon as we continue a very warm day today. But following today, the dry weather ends and we're entering a bit of an unsettled stretch with rain showers here and there Wednesday through Friday, lingering at the start of the weekend. We'll talk about that and those rain chances plus how warm it stays in that full forecast straight ahead. Steve? All right, Eric, thanks. Country music star Morgan. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good morning. Welcome back, everyone. We are talking about a cool start to the day today, but we warm up into the 50s, 60s, eventually 70s as the highs with sunshine across the board. A live look at downtown Utica. We're seeing clear skies, the early morning twilight, similar to the twilight we saw with the eclipse yesterday. Uh, again, in Boonville, a big thank you to those who uh, turned up. I got to meet some of you as well. It was a great turnout. Unfortunately, the clouds moved in just when totality started to take place, which is unfortunate, but uh, there are a lot, of, a lot of silver linings too. We got to see the uh, shadow of the moon over the clouds. Live with the radar, things are quiet and dry. And throughout the day today, we climbed from the 30s this morning up into the 70s by this afternoon. A beautiful day is expected for today. Winds looking pretty calm and rain chances non-existent. Cloud cover also here and there, but a few passing clouds. Otherwise, uh, entirely sunshine across the board today. We're looking dry for today. Unfortunately, though, as we turn to Wednesday through Friday, we got a bit more rain chances arriving, primarily when, uh, tonight into early Wednesday morning, and then following that, better chance for rain showers during the daytime, Thursday and Friday. And you can see here those rainfall chances going up to near certain by the uh, Thursday and Friday of this week. Those temperatures, too, remain in the 60s, so it's not too bad by April standards. In fact, above average, we cool back down to the 40s by Saturday, rebounding back into the 50s by Sunday. And the bigger picture, here's that warm front that caused that cloud cover yesterday evening. We got a pocket of sunshine right here, partly cloudy to partly sunny skies following that this afternoon. And then heading into tonight, a approaching cold front will cool things down a little bit, but notice how it kind of remains stationary. Following that, rain begins to surge along that frontal boundary, and we'll start to see some unsettled weather arriving by late tonight, early tomorrow morning. And this will linger pretty much with on and off rain throughout the entire work week. So we got today, beautiful weather, great outdoor weather. If you want to go out for that afternoon walk or run, today is the day to do it. Like I would say easily a top 10 day here in central New York with uh, low humidity and uh, plenty of sunshine. Following that, we cool down into the 50s with some scattered rain showers, some rumbles of thunder possible again tonight. Uh, before things turn more unsettled by early tomorrow morning, and then on and off rain will linger throughout the remainder of the work week. But again, today, just absolutely fantastic weather. Lows, or at least highs, in the low 70s with plenty of sunshine. Tonight, we're down into the 50s with rain showers developing, and then that rain will continue on and off over the next uh, few days between Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 
Saturday and Sunday still on and off rain. Temperatures cooling down into the mid 40s by Saturday, rebounding again into the 50s by Sunday. We'll Great right back. And the news begins right now. Now, the news with Steve McMurray and meteorologist Eric Gage. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm Steve McMurray. And I'm Storm Tracker, too, meteorologist Eric Gage. And we've got a lot to get to this morning, but what a day yesterday. We, you know, a little brief <laughs> briefing right there. We talked about the eclipse, women's championship hockey. Oh, by the way, the national championship for men's basketball was last night, but great day around here. The weather cooperated, and uh, so great job up in Boonville. You met a lot of really cool people from there and around. Fill me in. What, uh, how was that? Uh, it, was, it was a surreal experience, and uh, because I haven't experienced a total solar eclipse in my sure. lifetime until I experienced it. And, of course, I was up there with Bill, up there with a lot of you folks. And it was all, everyone got, had the same sentiment. It was cloudy. The clouds moved in just when totality was about to take place. And we were a bit upset, but then we saw the shadow come in. We saw the clouds yeah. get dark. And we looked out in the distance, and we could see it was like sunset. It yeah. was sunset at 3 in 3 the afternoon. Yeah, crazy. And... It gave us time to kind of reflect at just how unique this event is that no we will not see a central New York total solar eclipse in this next century. It's right. not going to be a, it's not a common event. And so right. it was just a surreal experience. In fact, let's look, look at what we actually saw up there. Uh, Bill Cardis took this photo in the distance. This is what it looked like at 3 or so p.m. You can see the sunset in the far to the east. Of course, we didn't have a picture of the eclipse itself because, of course, the clouds moved in, unfortunately. But we have a photo from another viewer of the eclipse coming up in the next half hour. But to give you an idea of how busy it was, not only was it busy at the Adirondack Central School where we were located, but also all across the North Country. This is the traffic merging on Route 12 in Boonville and same uh, traffic that moved down Route 28 up from Old Ford. So traffic was pretty busy here in our local area. Temperatures this morning are in the 30s. It's a cool start with clear skies, dry weather. But following this morning, we warm up quickly into the 70s by this afternoon with low humidity, lots of sunshine, and low winds, easily calling it a top 10 day here in central New York. So enjoy the nice weather today because following today, we're talking about a bit more rain showers in the near term forecast. We'll let you know about when those showers arrive and how long they do linger in the rest of the week. In that full forecast straight ahead. Steve? All right, Eric, thanks. We may look back for years and remember. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Welcome back. The time now is 6.13, and of course, it's time for the Munson Commute Cast. As you take a look at road conditions heading to and from work today, well, as we enter warmer months, we're looking at less and less impacts to travel. We're talking about completely dry weather this morning, this afternoon, and this evening, with green across the board, a few pockets of slowdowns and yellow. Uh, but compared to yesterday, which we saw the influx of traffic primarily in the North Country, Route 28, Route 12, they were stop and go, standstills in some locations, but heavy traffic. The traffic has since uh, dwindled a little bit. And we're looking at typical drive times here across our local area. To start I-90 and the arterial, typical drive times roughly around 16, 21 minutes, I-90 east and west. Same thing for uh, the arterial in Utica, around a six-minute drive. Uh, heading across other parts of our local area, 5S and Route 49, drive times looking pretty okay. And finally, heading up Route 28 from Cooperstown to I-90. And then, of course, from Utica to Remsen along Route 12. Those drive times looking pretty okay. Uh, right on average for uh, the typical morning commute. And again, today, starting out with plenty of dry weather, it's sunshine, cool to start. We warm up into the 70s this afternoon. So again, if you have time after work to go for that walk or run or take the dog out, again, beautiful weather for that. Enjoy the nice weather because we're talking about rain showers as we approach the second half of the work week. Let's know when those begin to arrive straight ahead. Steve? All right, Eric, thanks. Millions of us witnessed the awe of the total solar. From central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Eric Gage.
Good morning. Welcome back, everyone. The time now is 619, and we're starting out with clear skies, chilly temperatures, and it won't be a beautiful day today. Let's take a live look right now in uh, downtown Utica. Again, gorgeous twilight to start out the day today. And again, not only is it a cool start, but we're warming up quickly into the 50s, 60s, and eventually the 70s by this afternoon. Radar is looking quiet and dry and remaining dry throughout the entire day today. And take a look at these temperatures. We haven't really seen 70s in you know, at least a short while here locally. Here we are back up into the low 70s this afternoon. Winds looking calm, rain chances non-existent, and cloud cover hit or miss with more sunshine than clouds. So overall, I would call it easily a top 10 day. Rainfall outlook again is dry today, but as we head into Wednesday through Friday, those rain chances begin to arrive, scattered to start on Wednesday, and then more widespread Thursday and into Friday. And that temperature trend following the 70s today, we're down into the 60s. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, it will still feel like springtime. It will feel like April showers. And then we cool down into the 40s by Saturday with some hilltop snow possible. We're not out of the woods with snow just yet, but again, as we approach middle of April, it gets very hard for any system produce any notable accumulation of snow. Of course, with the outlier being two years ago with the April 20th snowstorm. A bigger picture, we've got sunshine moving in following that warm front we saw yesterday evening. And we can see here clouds will begin to move in later on tonight, bringing with it the chance for some rain showers and potential for thunder as well here and there. But you can see here more rain begins to arrive following that by tomorrow and we enter a pretty on and off rainy stretch for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Again, beautiful weather today, 60s eventually reaching the 70s with uh, plenty of sunshine. Following that, we're down into the 50s tonight with on and off rain, rumbles of thunder as that frontal boundary moves through, and then the front becomes stationary as uh, we start to receive more rain showers throughout the uh, daytime Wednesday. Some models are indicating the rain holds off until Wednesday night. But regardless, we're talking about on and off rain showers for the next few days. But next 12 hours, take a look at this right here. Beautiful weather, highs in the low 70s, plenty of sunshine. Tonight, the dry weather does come to an end as we're down into the low 50s with some scattered rain showers. Your seven day forecast. We've got rain showers Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Temperatures in the 60s. We're down in the 40s on Saturday, back into the 50s on Sunday with rain showers continuing on and overall looking like a pretty unsettled stretch of weather for the second half of the work week. But before we get to that, let's enjoy the beautiful weather today. And I know you mentioned to go out to the village uh, at the Adirondack Bank Center. Great weather for that. Oh, yeah. Subaru Championship Village. Uh, they've got a whole bunch of stuff going on. That's where the Ferris wheel is. There's games for the kids. There's food. There's drinks. Um, and it'll be 70 degrees. So yes, go out for that today. <laughs> can't be get, rainy after can't this. get any better than that. Need a ticket to any one of the games. Um, but again, still uh, plenty to do down there. All right, thanks a lot, Eric. Well, if today is your birthday, enjoy. Here's the list. 24 and the news rolls along right now. Now the news with Steve McMurray and meteorologist Eric Gage. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us this half hour. I'm Steve McMurray. And I'm Storm Tracker 2, meteorologist Eric Gage. A lot to get to today, uh, but it's going to be a beautiful weather day. Um, probably the best one we've seen in quite some time. So what's going on? Yes, that's right. It's going to be sunshine, low humidity, low winds, dry weather, and 70s. We're talking about that today. So I feel like after the eclipse, let's uh, turn our attention to the beautiful weather expected yep. today. But I want to quickly recap what it looked like yesterday for us, uh, Bill Cardis and I, in Boonville. This is the scene yesterday, a surreal experience. Unfortunately, clouds moved in just in time for totality. We were hoping they held off maybe another half hour or so, but Mother Nature decided to have other plans. But uh, regardless, it was quite the turnout. In fact, it's a picture sent in, sent in by Michael. Uh, it's a drone shot of uh, the traffic in Boonville, and that's going on Route 12. On top of that, we had additional traffic along Route 28 up in Old Forge. So not only were local people across our area viewing it, but also people traveling from out of state and across the country, some as far away as Alaska. And around the state, those temperatures 
Still starting out in the low 30s. It's a cool start, but we do climb from the 30s up into the 70s by this afternoon. Fantastic outdoor weather. If you uh, have been planning to go out for that morning run, morning uh, bike ride, or even this afternoon where the temperatures are a lot warmer, do it today while those uh, dry conditions last. Because following this afternoon and tonight, things turn a bit more unsettled with rain, and that rain will linger into the remainder of the work week. We'll talk about those temperatures that last throughout the rest of the week and uh, when those rain showers do come to an end and that full forecast straight ahead. Steve? All right, Eric, and remember the Storm Tracker 2 forecast is never more than 10 minutes away. Well, new this morning. Before we get to the weather photo of the day, I want to mention, and you guys have probably noticed it if you're looking closely in your TV screens, and uh, with the eclipse yesterday, and it's kind of a hilarious thing to mention that it's the lack of sun, and I feel like I've got sunburn on my nose, on my cheeks, on my face. I could definitely feel it early this morning. My nose feels a lot on the dry side. So if I look a bit more tan and sunburnt, well, that's the reason why. And what a great way to uh, witness, at least be outside yesterday, than to see the total solar eclipse. This is a great shot submitted by Tessa, who traveled to Plattsburgh and got the clear skies enough to get this amazing shot of totality. And again, nothing beats uh, viewing this at least here locally. The fact that we didn't have to travel across the world. The next one that will happen across the United, the entire uh, world, you have to travel to Iceland and Spain if you want to take that travel out there. But again, the fact that it was on our doorstep is nothing short of miraculous. The temperatures this morning are in the 30s in some spots, upper 20s up in Inlet. And uh, we warm up today from the 30s eventually into the 70s by this afternoon. Beautiful weather, low humidity, lots of sunshine, great outdoor weather today. Enjoy it because following today, we're entering a bit of an unsettled stretch with rain. We'll let you know exactly when that arrives in that full forecast straight ahead. Steve? All right, Eric, thanks. Country music star Morgan Wallen was a Rick's most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Welcome back, everyone. The time now is 6.49, and uh, this Tuesday starts out with sunshine, cool temperatures, but we warm up into the 70s by this afternoon. It will be a beautiful day today. A live look outside from our Nexus camera looking at downtown Utica. Again, we're looking at the morning twilight giving way to morning sunshine. And, of course, beyond that, we're looking at completely dry weather for the day today. And uh, one other thing to mention, too, on the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 live radar, things are quiet and dry uh, all across central New York. And for the most part, we are still in this dry stretch for today and into the early part of this evening before things turn a little bit more unsettled by tonight. Take a look at these temperatures here. Warming up in the low 70s by this afternoon. Winds looking calm. Rain chances non-existent. And regarding cloud cover, well, clouds will be hit and miss for the morning and afternoon, but we're looking at a lot more sunshine than not. Well, when does the rain arrive? Well, it remains dry today. Rain arrives tonight in some locations that could produce a rumble of thunder or two, and the rain will stick around hit or miss for the rest of the work week, Thursday and into Friday. A bit more on the scattered side of Wednesday, but a surge of more warm air Thursday and Friday bring more widespread rain showers to our local area. And those temperatures between now and Friday, again, a warmest day of the next seven will be today, highs and low 70s. At least the mid 60s to low 60s, Wednesday through Friday, not too bad of uh, temperatures, but again, these are followed by rain showers. And then we cool down on, on Saturday with highs only in the low to mid 40s before we rebound back into the 50s by Sunday. Bigger picture, here's that warm front. You can see the very faint cloud, lover, cloud cover right there. Behind that, we got that warm sector, dry weather moving in, beautiful weather for today. But following that, we are tracking that cold front arriving by tonight, and it'll become stationary. We'll actually be seeing much of that cold air following that as it stays well to the northwest. We'll actually see more of that warm surge and rain showers as we stay on the warm sector of the system, bringing with it like multiple rounds of rain from two low pressure systems. Skycast again showing sunshine today. Temperatures climbing 
into the low 70s with plenty of sunshine. Again, spend the time outside today. Easily a top 10 day. As you take a look right here, gorgeous weather, low 70s, partly cloudy skies this afternoon. Tonight, we're down into the 50s with rain showers developing roughly after midnight in some spots. Your seven day forecast breezy Thursday and Friday, highs though in the low to mid 60s with rain on and off and pretty much rain chances over the next six or so days besides today. So Again, if you have any outdoor plans going to the uh, championship village in Utica, this is the day to do it. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. All right. Good advice. Thank you, Eric. And uh, time is now 6.53 almost. Now, the news with Steve McMurray and meteorologist Eric Gage. Good morning and happy Tuesday to you. Thank you for joining us. I'm Steve McMurray. And I'm Storm Tracker, too, meteorologist Eric Gage. A lot to get to. It's going to be a gorgeous day, but uh, I think everybody's catching their breath from yesterday. You had the eclipse that happened, uh, you know, in the mid afternoon. The Team USA win last night was ph phenomenal. Oh, by the way, the national championship yeah. for basketball was last night. And it was Monday. So here we are for Tuesday. What do we got going on? I can only imagine what people were doing yesterday. I think they, they either were, they watched the eclipse, traveled south, went to the game, and then probably at the game they had the national championship streamed also on their phones. True. Also I feel true. like that would be the, the, the best case scenario for no yesterday. Uh, but yes, yesterday was very busy. Today, after the eclipse, that warm front moved in yesterday evening, and it's warming up. Now, how warm? Into the 70s by this afternoon. But you can see that... You can see that the uh, conditions all across central New York are in the 30s this morning, so it doesn't quite feel warm just yet, but we've got to wait for that sun, that stronger April sun, to bring in those warmer temperatures. Live look at the radar. Things are quiet and dry all across our local area. And today, again, we start out in the 30s, but we warm up into the 70s this afternoon with partly cloudy skies, beautiful weather, low humidity, low winds, plenty of sunshine, in my opinion, easily a top 10 day here in central New York. Following today, well, tonight we're talking about more rain showers arriving, which will linger in to the uh, rest of the work week on and off over the next few days. So enjoy the nice weather while we have it. We'll talk about what we can expect for tomorrow and, of course, into this coming weekend in that full forecast straight ahead. Steve? All right, Eric, thanks. We may look back for years. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good morning. Welcome back, everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's uh, a bit of a wind down after the pretty active, I would say, community yesterday with everyone going out and viewing the eclipse. A lot of uh, tourists from all over, as well as the local community, going out to see the fantastic event that took place here on the local community. And it's just surreal because we're not going to see anything like this in Central New York in the next 100 or so years. Live look at downtown Utica right now. Things are quiet and dry. We've got sunshine to start. Cooler temperatures, but we're warming up pretty quickly this afternoon. Radar looking quiet and dry. Temperatures, again, climbing from the 60s to the low 70s by the mid to late afternoon. Beautiful weather with calm winds, no rainfall expected, and those clouds on and off, but overall pretty sunny. Uh, weather is expected for today. And uh, a look at what we can expect regarding rain showers over the next few days. Well, it's dry today, but Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we got some higher chances for, chances for rain. Primarily early overnight into early Wednesday morning, that's our best chance for some rain showers tomorrow. It will be scattered in nature, but more widespread rain does arrive Thursday and Friday from approaching low pressures. And that temperature trend following the 70s today, we're down into the mid to low 60s Wednesday through Friday, so not too bad by April standards. Uh, but overall, looking like a pretty, uh, I would say, mild stretch of weather. Unfortunately, though, we got rain following that too before temperatures fall in the 40s by Saturday. Bigger picture, warm front out to our east. Following that, we got this pocket of dry air and sunshine. And then following that, we've got a cold front right from the west, which will bring rain and then the front will remain stationary. The cold air stays well to our northwest, and we're going to see some surges of moisture on and off between Wednesday and into Saturday and Sunday. So bigger picture, zooming in to our skycast, 70s today, beautiful weather across the board. A few spotty rain showers arrive tonight. They could bring some rumbles of thunder. 
overall looking to be a pretty nice day, of course, turning to more rain over the next few. Next 12 hours, enjoy the top 10 weather today with highs in the low 70s for tonight. We fall down into the 50s with some scattered rain showers. Your seven day forecast looking more unsettled with rain. April showers returning for the next few days. Gary Libertor. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Gary Libertor. And I'm Storm Tracker, too, meteorologist Eric Page. And back following hip replacement surgery, my first well, on air duty, and it feels good to be back. Welcome back. I know uh, almost everyone watching is, uh, was pleasantly waiting for your return, and uh, what a great way to come back. The yes, weather is beautiful. 70 degrees. 70s, plenty of sunshine. Mm -hmm. Go out and enjoy the weather this afternoon, this evening, because as we head throughout the rest of the week, we've got more rain arriving, but of course, 70s will take it uh, here across our local area. Live look in Oneonta right now. Blue skies across the board. And talk about those temperatures. 64 degrees in Rome, 64 Hamilton. And we're not done with those temperatures just yet. We're climbing a few more degrees across the area. And a live look at the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 live radar. All is quiet and dry. But again, as I just mentioned, enjoy the dry weather today because as we approach the rest of the work week, more rain showers on and off arrive. The mild to warm temperatures stick around, though, but not nearly as warm as 72 degrees for the high. So, again, enjoy the beautiful weather today. We're talking about uh, what to expect rain-wise over the next few days and if we see a cool down following that for this weekend in that full forecast straight ahead. Gary? Eric, thank you. And if you didn't uh, catch the eclipse yesterday, you were among the very few. And this is where Eric was for us all the afternoon yesterday for the amazing 2024 total eclipse. The eclipse brought people from downstate and out of state, some from as far away as Alaska. And Adirondack Central School District put on a show with games, food truck, and plenty of music. We spoke with people from Connecticut who made the trip out to Boonville to view the spectacular event. We actually had a really great trip up. We anticipated we might hit traffic, but we really didn't. We took a lot of the side roads. We weren't on any main thoroughways. We knew that this was like a once in a lifetime t type of opportunity, and it's my break. I'm a teacher and I'm on break. So we planned a girl trip to come up the night before and make sure we were in the line of totality. And we saw that there was an event going on here at Adirondack High School. Good for them. Now, unfortunately, clouds did limit the clear viewing of the sun for the event, but they said that the trip was worth it, getting to visit some notable stops such as Fort Stanwix and Howe Caverns. Brand new information this noon on a The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good afternoon. Welcome back, everyone. It was just absolutely spectacular sight yesterday, not going to not only visiting Boonville, but got it, getting to uh, meet all of you who traveled up to, to the Boonville viewing event as well. It was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, probably for me, unless I travel elsewhere all across the United States, and uh, for some of you as well. But again, it was beautiful. Aside from the clouds, that was the only downside, but silver lining was we got to see a 360 cloudy sunset, which was a spectacular sight to see. In Cooperstown right now, we're talking about sunshine, warmer temperatures, people are out and about enjoying this beautiful Monday. And again, enjoy the beautiful weather today because it's not going to last too long. We're talking about more rain showers arriving for the second half of the work week. Temperatures still remaining pretty mild, but not so much with the sun. Current conditions, 64 beautiful degrees across central New York. Dew point at 36, so uh, we're typical with early spring weather. Humidity is very low, so we'll take these days when we get them. Uh, live look at the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 live radar. Things are quiet and dry and will remain dry for the entire daytime today as those temperatures again climb into the low 70s. We cool down in the 50s and 40s tonight. Uh, with rain chances slowly beginning to arrive after sunset. As a matter of fact, look at that chance of rain outlook. We are going to be seeing on and off rain over the next few days as we see an approaching cold front become stationary over central New York, followed by a few rounds of rain from low pressures arriving from the southwest heading into Thursday and Friday. In fact, our temperature trend 
Looking pretty okay for, uh, I would say, April standards. Highs in the low to mid 60s. But again, we're talking about rain showers during the daytime for pretty much uh, some of these days as well. A cool down on Saturday, down into the low 40s to upper 30s. Some snow showers possible in the higher elevations then, but it won't be lasting too long. We're back into the 50s by Sunday. Bigger picture high pressure keeping things quiet here in central New York. Where was this during yesterday's totality? Uh, but again, we can take the weather in central New York when we get it. Following the high pressure and sunshine today, here comes that cold front. It moves into central New York, becoming stationary overnight and into early Wednesday. This could bring a few on and off rain showers throughout the day before more widespread rain arrives by Thursday morning. You can see that surge of that warm front move into our local area. So again, this morning it was a cool start. Temperatures in the 20s and 30s, but it warmed up very quick. That strong April sun keeping things very warm today. Highs in the low 70s in the Mohawk Valley. Again, following this evening, clouds move in tonight and the chance for a few spotty rain showers. One or two of these could produce some rumbles of thunder, especially up in the North Country. Next 12 hours, again, chilly start up into the 70s for this afternoon. And again, tonight we're back down into the 50s with on and off rain showers developing a little bit after midnight. Seven day forecast. It's looking a bit more like a typical April. April showers Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and into Sunday. Saturday, we could see some snow mixing in in those higher elevations a little bit. And it cools down slightly, but we're back into the 50s on Sunday, 60s back on Monday with still some lingering rain showers. So overall, an un unsettled weather pattern sticks around and we don't quite get out of it over the uh, next week or so. So uh, enjoy the nice weather today. Enjoy the sunshine. Go out to the uh, festivities outside of the odd today, too. Yeah. Know we've been, they, we've seen all the Ferris wheel and stuff, and it's been rainy and windy, but <clears throat> we'll take the weather today. Yeah, I know our own Zach Lewis is heading down there, and he's going to try to ride it. Yeah, that, that's going to be fun. I haven't yeah. been on it yet. Yeah, a beautiful day to do so. Eric, thanks. Well, it is National Donate Life Month. Good afternoon once again, and thank you for joining us. I'm Gary Libertor. And I'm Storm Tracker, too, meteorologist Eric Gage. Man, what a, what a beautiful day out there today. Yeah, I was thinking yesterday it was 60s. It cooled down with the eclipse. Mm -hmm. It actually felt really cold. Yeah, it got cold quick. Yeah, really cold. And I was thinking, you know, I wonder if this is going to last. And today, well, we're talking about warmer temperatures, sunshine, and 70s. A beautiful shot there on the Cavi Tower cam. In fact, let's zoom in right there and see how things are looking all across central New York. Uh, one thing to mention, too, the only thing missing in this picture, obviously, because it is April uh, 9th, are the green trees. And based off of my experience living here in central New York over my pretty much my whole life, usually early May is when we start to see some of those greens pop out. So we're just around a month or so away from seeing uh, much more green scenery. But again, yesterday was just a absolutely breathtaking experience. This is the view uh, from Bill. He took a picture in Boonville during totality. It was a sunset from pretty much behind us to in front of us. 360 view of a sunset, something that I didn't expect to see in my lifetime. And it just, it was absolutely beautiful uh, to experience there. And again, we're glad that we got to experience it with all of you folks up there at Boonville as well. Currently 64 warm degrees in Rome. Warming up even more as we head throughout the afternoon. A live look at the radar, things are quiet and dry. And over the next 12 hours, we remain in the upper 60s to low 70s. We cool down into the 50s overnight tonight with rain showers slowly developing. We're talking about when they arrive, how long they last, and when our next chance of possibly seeing some sunshine will be in that full forecast straight ahead. Gary? Eric, thanks. King Charles was presented today. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good afternoon and welcome back. Hopefully after the newscast, you guys get a chance to go out, maybe uh, sit out on the porch, go for a walk, go for a run, go for a bike ride, do anything outside today because the weather is fantastic. 10 out of 10, low humidity, low winds, lots of sunshine. And it's temporary. We got more rain and clouds arriving for this, the rest of the work week. In fact, a live look in Cooperstown right now. A lot of folks already out there enjoying the sunshine. Lots of people out there on Main Street at this point. It's very busy. And again, I love to see it after 
We have several days of wind, rain, and clouds, and snow here and there. Weather's cooperating just for at least a single day here in central New York. And those temperatures this afternoon already warming up very quickly. 64 Otter Lakes, 62 degrees in Westernville, 70 already in Little Falls. We got 70 degrees also in Sherburne, 64 Norwich, 64 Oneonta, and approaching 70 at 67 over in Cooperstown. Radar is looking quiet and dry this afternoon, and those temperatures do remain in the low 70s for roughly the few hours between 3 and 5 p.m. today. Following that, we'll see a slow cool down into the 50s again tonight. Clouds will start to increase, and so will those rain chances. You can see here clouds slowly increasing, and rainfall chances initially not too bad, but after midnight, we're going to see an arriving cold front bring with it the chance for some on and off rain. And a matter of fact, you can see here, chance of rain over the next few days, warm, uh, looking a lot higher for Tuesday, Wednesday, and into the early part of Thursday, on and off, pretty sporadic, and in some spots, it's going to be more widespread, especially for early Thursday morning, as you can see right here. Temperatures, though, following today won't be too bad, low to mid-60s, so warmer than average for a typical early April. Saturday will be that cool down, highs only in the upper 30s, low 40s, and there could be some wraparound rain and snow in the highest elevations, although it's going to be hard for that snow to stick with that strong April sun and, of course, warming back up into the 50s by Sunday. Bigger picture, high pressure moving in, keeping things sunny and dry here in central New York, and following that, we're seeing an arriving cold front. Now, this cold front won't really push through central New York. It'll start to get stationary. And all that cold air stays well north of us. We get that warm surge of, of air from the south, and that will bring with it the chance for some rain, particularly more widespread, especially for early Thursday morning. And on our skycast, you can see here, pretty warm temperatures in the 60s and 70s. Following that, we're back down into the 50s overnight tonight with some spotty rain showers here and there. And then we're back with uh, some more rain chances on and off throughout the next few days. But again, for today, we're talking about 70s, absolutely beautiful weather. Go out and enjoy it because, again, this is temporary. Following that tonight, we're back down into the 50s, and you can see some rain showers beginning to develop right around midnight. Seven-day forecast. You can see here winds pick up Thursday and Friday, temperatures in the 60s, down into the 40s by Saturday, and overall looking pretty, I would say, more typical for April, April showers arriving. Uh, but again, it's sunny out today, and I know it's kind of funny. I was telling, uh, I was telling Steve uh, early this morning that uh, uh, with the eclipse yesterday, I got some sunburn. Yeah, you did. I, I didn't think I would get sunburn from the lack of the sun, but I guess uh, I, something, I learned new, something new today. Yeah, it so. didn't really cloud up until that exact moment of totality. Uh, yeah, <laughs> unfortunate for that, but you know, we'll, we'll take the, uh, the beautiful yeah. scenes of the clouds. And today, that's for sure. Eric, thanks. Well, the tax filing deadline to get your card is... Oh, wow, what a picture-perfect day it was today. It was a warm, warm day. Uh, temperatures in the mid-70s, uh, kind of yeah. taking us off guard. It hasn't been warm yet this year, mm. not quite like this, but it's not going to last. As we look at the uh, radar this evening, it's going to stay dry. It's going to be a lovely evening, and I hope we get a chance to get out and enjoy it. The days are getting longer and longer. We've got uh, uh, light now until about quarter to eight. That, that's when our sun sets this time of the year. And again, it's looking really nice across the board. Uh, quiet weather here this, this evening. Current temperature 74 degrees. We have a low dew point, and the April sun is starting to play a big role here, helping to bring uh, temperatures uh, into the 70s here. And as we look at our weather headlines, we're tracking to return to clouds and rain as we head into tonight. The weather is going to stay unsettled. We're in a, a stretch of wet weather here for most of the week. So again, I highly encourage you to make the most of today because it is going to change and it looks like it's going to linger, the clouds and showers uh, throughout the week. Even into the weekend, uh, we're going to take a look at our rain chances and also when the weather finally does start to break. And look at the forecast coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. New York State budget. Now the WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. We are tracking a lovely evening here in Central New York. Temperatures made it into the 70s, the warmest it's been so far this year. 
Uh, currently sitting at 73 degrees in downtown Utica where the sun was shining and I know a lot of people thinking the same thing. It would have been nice to have this much sunshine yesterday during the total solar eclipse, but again, just how things work out sometimes. As we were looking at temp uh, temperatures across the area, Otter Lake 69 degrees, Dollarville 75, Little Falls 77, Western Bill 74. Uh, Hamilton 73, Cooperstown 74, and Oneonta with 70 degrees. The weather patterns change. We're getting back into a cloudy stretch of weather with on and off rain showers here beginning tomorrow and lasting for most of the week. Uh, this is a look at our rainfall chances. Pretty high over the next couple of days. We're not tracking anything really heavy, but over the course of time, it is going to add up. And we don't even see a break in the rain until at least Monday of next week. So it's going to be almost a full week of on and off rain showers. It's not going to rain from start to finish, but just about every day features the chance of some rain and certainly a lot of clouds along with the wind. That'll be kicking up later this week. So again, make the most of today. Get out and enjoy it. Again, we do have daylight until about quarter to eight. Of course, on a day like today with clear skies, uh, twilight goes past eight o'clock. And again, it is looking to be a, a nice day. 74 in Rome. 73 in Hamilton, again, Albany 75. Again, many of us enjoying sunshine. A couple of showers and a few thunderstorms developing uh, across the Great Lakes north of Toronto. Those should miss our area, but it is a sign of things to come. An area of low pressure will be approaching from the west, and it's a very slow mover, and that's why it's going to bring us multiple days of on and off rain showers. And then by the time that one leaves, another one drops in, so the weather stays pretty active and unsettled here throughout the week. Storm Tracker 2 Skycast uh, tonight looking at mostly cloudy skies. Could see a, a passing shower as we head into tomorrow morning. I think that's going to be fairly few and far between, but it's it's a, a possibility. There will be a few more showers here tomorrow. The, in fact, the weather looks wet later in the day. Temperatures look to climb into the low to mid 60s. On and off rain showers tomorrow night. We're tracking more showers on Thursday. Thursday's rain looks more uh, steady, more widespread, especially in the morning. We should get a chance to uh, see some breaks in the rain, though, by later in the day. Tonight, showers late, low 51, pretty mild night ahead. Tomorrow, looking at more showers, especially in the afternoon, a high of 62. Storm Tracker 2, seven day forecast. April, April showers bring May flowers. It's, so. Yeah, it's going to be that kind of weather pattern here. Yeah. Clouds, showers throughout the week. Uh, Monday, we start to see the chance of a break or two. Uh, the weather does look dry Monday and Tuesday uh, of next week, but uh, we're going to get back into a very gloomy pattern. So what you're saying is you hope you got out today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Bill. Millions of people across 15 cards, and guess what? We're talking eclipse. Yeah, we've been getting some amazing photos of the eclipse yesterday. This picture from Greg Smith taken in the Adirondacks. Uh, if you look uh, to the bottom left-hand side here, you can see this little, uh, almost looks like a, a wave or some fuzz. That's a solar flare, uh, a really great capture. A, a lot of uh, folks being able to see that too. Uh, during yesterday's total solar eclipse. Live look at the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. Things are quiet across the area. It's a warm day. It's been beautiful, but things are going to change. Uh, the weather is going to cool off. So I highly encourage you to make the most of it. Take the dog out for a walk. The dog would love this kind of weather. Uh, sunshine temperatures in the upper 60s here as we head towards sunset. Tonight's featured dogs, Piper and Lacey from Camden. This is brought to you by Nye Automotive Group. We've got some unsettled weather ahead. Look at the forecast coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. Tax season is in the home stretch, of course. April. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. Tracking some lovely weather across Central New York. Sunshine, temperatures in the low 70s. It was a really warm day, the first time we've hit 70 uh, so far this year, but not quite record-breaking. Today's record goes back to 1945, 81 degrees, so it, it can get warmer, although we, we did make a run towards that. Uh, by the way, another fun fact about the records, in 1979, on this date, we had 11.2 inches of snow. Yeah, so April can be quite dramatic, and by the way, that was the largest snowfall in the month of April at least for the city of Utica. 
Been looking at a beautiful day today. Sunshine continues this evening. Otter Lake 69 degrees. Westernville 74. Uh, Westmoreland 77. Across Southern Valleys, Sherburn 76. Cooperstown 73. And Oneonta with 70 degrees. Our rain chances increase as we head throughout the week. The rain becomes steadier and heavier, especially by Thursday and Friday. Uh, and again, just about every day looks wet. So if you're trying to get out and do some spring cleaning, uh, maybe just cleaning up, uh, doing some raking, it's just not great weather for this. Uh, it's not going to rain the entire time, but it's just dreary, and we don't really get a chance to dry out. Live look at the radar. Again, things look quiet across the region. Our sky watchers are checking in with temperatures in the 70s. Mike and New Hartford, 73. Cassville, 71 degrees. Uh, and again, we're going to continue to follow some very warm weather here as we head into this evening. Things change. We've got unsettled weather approaching from the west. An area of low pressure will be arriving, and it's a slow mover. So it's going to last for about a day and a half. By the time it leaves, the next one comes in, and that will be a cold front. That brings some chilly weather as we head into the end of the week. Storm Tracker 2 Skycast tonight, mostly cloudy skies. A very mild night. Overnight lows only around 50. A few light rain showers are expected late. Some scattered showers here for Wednesday, especially in the afternoon. High temperatures will be near 60 degrees. On and off rain showers continue Wednesday night. More of a steady rain early Thursday, followed by some breaks. Again, just a generally unsettled weather pattern with low pressure approaching from the west. Uh, it looks like the stronger weather, the thunderstorm risk, will be south of our area, but it's close as we get into Thursday afternoon. A little bit more energy in the atmosphere, but not quite enough to generate storms. But again, it is something we'll be watching. Showers late tonight, low of 51. Tomorrow, more showers, uh, especially in the afternoon, a high of 62. Stern Tracker 2, seven day forecast. Breezy conditions Thursday and Friday. Temperatures in the 60s. It's chilly on Saturday, 45 degrees. Rain showers Sunday, 56. The weather starts to clear out. We'll finally get a break with a return to sunshine. Highs in the low 60s on Monday and Tuesday. We'll be right back. At 6, there's Chief Meteorologist Bill Carnes. A warm day. Temperatures made it into the low to mid 70s. The warmest day so far this Year. This is a live look at the Yorkville Batteries Turn Tracker 2 Doppler radar. I hope you had a chance to enjoy the warmth because the weather is going to change. Uh, our current temperature is 75. That's the high for the day. And a lot of this has to do with the April sun. With the leaves off the trees, the sun can warm the ground very quickly this time of the year. We have very low humidity with that dew point of 36. Overall, again, just a lovely evening. We have daylight uh, these days until just, a, just before 8 o'clock. Clouds and rain return as we get into late tonight, and the rain, well, it's going to stick around uh, over the next several days. A very unsettled weather pattern ahead. It will gradually turn cooler, especially as we head into Saturday, but for the most part, temperatures will be in the 60s throughout most of the week. Again, it's just a lovely evening, a beautiful one to get outdoors. You can do some grilling, go for a walk. Temperatures will be in the 60s to low 70s and tracking some rain throughout the rest of the week. A look at the forecast coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. Police now say it was a swatting call. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. A lovely day across Central New York. Much warmer weather. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to last, though. Let's take a live look in Cooperstown. The sun is shining, a light wind, and again, very comfortable conditions out there. Uh, the next weather maker arrives tonight, and it does bring some rain showers to our area after midnight, but it's going to be a pretty mild night. Overnight lows only drop into the 50s, but again, the nicest weather taking place over the next couple of hours. We do cool off fairly quickly with increasing clouds, but again, uh, again, make the most of this evening because the weather is going to change. Our next weather maker arrives tomorrow. Just a few light rain showers. The winds kick up Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We get into this windy weather pattern uh, for the rest of the week and into the start of the weekend as some cooler air works in. Live look outside. Again, things look dry across the region on the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. Our sky watchers are checking in with very comfortable and very warm temperatures. Helen and Cassville 71, Forestport 73, Curtis 70 degrees, Mohawk Jeff with 74, uh, Westford 68, Richfield with 72. 
We are tracking a few thunderstorms developing along uh, into the north of Lake Ontario. Uh, these will miss us to the north, but the bigger picture shows there's more where this came from. Got an area of low pressure that's developing to the south and west. This is going to lift to the north, and again, this will be our weather maker as we head uh, throughout the rest of the week. Stern Checker 2 Skycast tonight. Uh, mostly cloudy skies, a few sprinkles. Overnight lows drop into the low 50s. Unsettled weather Wednesday will start out generally dry. The risk for rain showers will increase throughout the afternoon. It's close to a washout. I don't think it's going to rain the entire time, and the rain will be generally light. High temperatures in the low 60s. Tomorrow night, another round of rain. Uh, we'll see more of this Thursday morning. We should get some breaks Thursday afternoon. Uh, before more wet weather arrives, it's going to be one of those weather patterns. Projected rainfall between Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday looks to be averaging about an inch across the area. Uh, so it, this is not all that heavy spread out over three days. But again, that rain is going to be very uh, consistent. And I don't think we'll get a chance to really dry out until the, uh, the early part of next week. Showers late tonight, low 51. Tomorrow, showers, low 60s for the high. Storm Tracker 2, 7-day forecast. Breezy as we head into Thursday and Friday. Thursday's high 67. Friday, we're 62. And it turns sharply colder on Saturday as a strong cold front arrives. But then uh, the weather starts to warm up again. Still raining on Sunday, but highs climb into the low 60s with sunshine on Monday and Tuesday. We'll be right back. For a first look at the forecast with Chief Meteorologist Bill Cardis. You know, as days like today, you think, well, geez, that's a no-brainer because it was a beautiful, warm, sunny day. Yeah. Things dry quickly in this sun. But we have to remember, just because rain may come through, and we may have a lot of it, that burn ban is still in place till May for a reason. Right. It's the time of the year where the leaves are not on the trees. The ground can dry up very quickly, even if you're in a wet weather pattern. New York State's wildfire season, the short one that we do have, typically is in late spring. So. Mm -hmm. Again, we do have to be vigilant even if the weather is looking wet. And speaking of wet weather, mm. how about this? Some thunderstorms, some lightning being detected to the west out towards Syracuse. And we'll see if these survive the trip. A lot of times they don't, but uh, it might be possible that we could see a rumble of thunder as we head into tonight. We'll be keeping an eye on that. Current temperature is 58 degrees. Boy, this weather definitely feeling more like late spring to early summer, a very mild night. And uh, we're going to be holding on to uh, relatively mild conditions overnight with an increase in cloud cover along with a few light rain showers. Another gorgeous shot of the total eclipse. This was taken yesterday by Greg Smith. And you can see solar flares coming off the sun in this picture. Just absolutely breathtaking. Again, we appreciate all the pictures that people have been sending us in uh, throughout this event. Passing shower tonight, low of 51. Again, we're tracking unsettled weather ahead. A look at the forecast coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. The economic hopes for the IIA. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. We're taking a live look in downtown Utica. A comfortable 59 degrees. Pretty mild out there for this time of the year. Uh, kind of has a uh, early summer vibe to it, doesn't it? It was a warm day today. We made it into the mid 70s this afternoon. Didn't break a record, but it was a very warm day and it was the warmest one we've had so far this year. Keeping an eye to the west. This is a live look at the Yorkville Battery Stern Tracker 2 Doppler radar. And this is. Uh, some lightning being detected. These these white dots on the screen, those are lightning strikes. And there's been about eight or so of those in the past half hour. Uh, this has been very slowly moving to the east. And it's possible we could get a rumble of thunder as we head into tonight. That should be the exception rather than the rule. Rainfall outlook. We are looking at an unsettled weather pattern ahead. Uh, expecting some scattered showers as we head into the day tomorrow. More of a steadier widespread rain Thursday and Friday. More scattered showers on Saturday. The winds pick up too. In fact, we're looking at windy weather here Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, winds between about uh, 25 to 35 miles an hour, wind gusts that is, uh, generally from the west and then in from the northwest as we head into the weekend. It's going to usher in some chilly air. So you look at the radar and satellite image. We have unsettled weather approaching from the west. There's an area of low pressure that's producing some severe weather in the south tonight. 
Uh, this low pressure center is going to swing into the northeast and bring some steadier rain as we head later into this week. Tonight, increasing clouds again. The chance of a shower, maybe a rumble of thunder. We start out Wednesday morning with mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures will be pretty mild in the morning, but with more of a steadier rain in the afternoon, temperatures won't be as warm as today. Looking at highs in the uh, low to mid 60s. Tomorrow night, more scattered showers. Another round of rain early Thursday, giving way to some breaks in the overcast. It's not going to rain all the time, but just about every day has some wet weather ahead uh, for the next several days. Rainfall totals between now and Friday, so this is a three day total. Uh, it looks to be about an inch for most areas. So over the course of three days, it won't be coming down all that heavy, but again, we just don't get a chance to dry out. Showers late tonight, low 51. Again, maybe a rumble of thunder. Showers around tomorrow, 62 for the high. Storm Tracker 2, seven day forecast. Breezy Thursday and Friday, scattered showers. Chilly Saturday, 45 into the mid 50s on Sunday. Uh, more rain showers. The weather breaks with a return to sunshine on Monday and Tuesday. But yeah, getting into kind of a gloomy weather pattern here heading into this week. <clears throat> did you uh, did you save your eclipse glasses or did you throw them out? I don't know what I did with them. They're probably <laughs> lying around somewhere. Probably in the back seat of the car on yeah. the way back from yeah. Boonville. Uh, but you know, we saved ours from the last eclipse. I don't know if the last to the next one. 20, 20 years. Minute, unless we travel somewhere. Yeah. But there is something that you can do with them because millions of people across the fifth chief meteorologist, Bill Cardis, we had one of those days today where it was beautiful, it was sunny, it was dry. Those kind of things can happen. But even with rain getting ready to come in, we still have to watch this through May. Yeah, we're in the season where we do get wildfires in New York. I mean, they're not like other parts of the country. Sure, but sure. Th in late spring, the ground can dry out really fast. And it doesn't take much. Even just one day like today, the humidity is really low. Mm -hmm. uh, so we want to be careful here for the next couple of weeks, even with rain in the forecast. Speaking of rain, look at this. Lightning uh, being detected towards the west, wow. uh, towards Syracuse. So we might see a rumble of thunder overnight. Uh, we'll be keeping an eye on those. It feels like a summer night, or at least an early summer night. A temperature of 55 here at 11 o'clock in the evening. Uh, it is going to be relatively mild tonight for this time of the year with overnight lows in the low 50s. So let's uh, take a look at another beautiful photo. We, we appreciate all the photos that people have sent us from the total solar eclipse that took place yesterday. This picture from Greg Smith in the Adirondacks. If you look really closely, you can see a solar flare. Uh, so that was a really uh, neat uh, thing to see with some, again, some amazing photographers in our area. We, again, have been sharing them on our Facebook page too, as well as our website. Passing shower tonight, low 51. We're tracking more rain chances ahead. Look at the forecast coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. The I. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. We are taking a live look in downtown Utica. It is turning out to be a warm night, a temperature of 59. Kind of feels like an early summer night. And to go along with that idea, we're tracking some thunderstorms to the west. There is a lone storm out near Syracuse. We're getting occasional lightning strikes with that. And should this survive the trip, it could give us a few flashes of lightning and rumbles of thunder across the Mohawk Valley. It's not that strong, but you might notice it uh, as it moves in. It's going to take about another half hour or so before it makes its way towards Utica. The rainfall outlook, we have showers in the forecast tomorrow, more of a steadier widespread rain Thursday and Friday, more scattered showers in, on Saturday. The general weather pattern stays unsettled and windy and eventually cooler as we head towards the weekend. Our wind outlook, relatively light winds tomorrow, but the winds pick up Thursday, Friday, and Saturday as low pressure approaches and moves through central New York. Tonight's activity comes ahead of a cold front that will be the catalyst for change. An area of low pressure will be approaching from the southwest. This is a slow mover, and it's going to take a couple of days for it to move through. And then on the back side of this, it brings in a cold front, which kicks off more unsettled weather. Storm Tracker 2 Skycast, cloudy skies tonight. Again, a passing shower, maybe a rumble of thunder if those storms hold together. All right, lows drop down to near 50. Tomorrow,
clouds. A few light rain showers are expected to develop in the afternoon. Uh, temperatures will be in the low 60s. So not as warm as today, but still warmer than it's been. A round of rain showers arrives tomorrow night, and it's wet first thing Thursday morning. Temperatures climb into the uh, low 60s Thursday afternoon with more rain expected later Thursday evening. Projected rainfall between now and Friday looks to be a general inch across central New York. This is a multiple day accumulation, but it just gives you a general idea of how much rain is expected to fall over the next several days. Showers late tonight, low of 51. Tomorrow, uh, more showers around, especially in the afternoon, a high of 62. Storm Tracker 2 seven day forecast. Breezy, unsettled weather continues throughout the week. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It gets chilly as we start the weekend. Saturday's high only 45, 56 on Sunday. Sunshine returns.